Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be based on a tutorial on how to make a Cobra roll based on B&M style. So we all know that B&M's Cobra rolls, or at least the old ones, were based on whip at the very top of the element. Except for like Superman's and, and Warner's which is like really floaty. But um, if we take Alpine Guy's Cobra roll for example, it is well known for being a very whippy element and that is what the pre-made Cobra roll in the game uh, doesn't have. So if we take the pre-made Cobra roll, which I can't say is particularly great, it's made up of what we would consider basic pieces. So like, the way this, this turns into the element is uniform and it has absolutely no whip. So. With our pre-made Cobra roll, we can get that famous BNM whip, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make a Cobra roll. So, a Cobra roll is made up of a few pieces. Well, a good amount of pieces. So, what we start with is the entrance, then uh, the pull-up, then the uh, the turnout of of the pull-up, then the middle section, and then everything again mirrored backwards. So, we're going to take free form, we pull up slightly, um, we pull up like any any distance depending on how much g-force you want to pull, and make sure to get a smooth uh, lift off, like with no rough patches, with no, with no jolts let's say, make sure um, like the, fir the first weight is aligned with the middle weight, and you can use the vertical g or any any sort of comb or comb whatever you pronounce it um, to to smooth out your pieces and also make sure your your smoothing is set to zero. Your smoothing has to be zero just to avoid any jolts. At least that's what I do. So to get started, you pull up, you do this, and then you turn slightly left. We're gonna turn our cobra to the right hand side from the launch. So we have to pull up left and we're banking a little bit. So free bank and we're pulling up a little bit. So minimal banking, literally nothing. And then we pull up slightly. So what I do is I pull up to a twist of 90 degrees roughly. So we're facing about, yeah. Our, not, not our pitch, not, not our pitch. Our yaw has to be 90 degrees, so 270, because that's uh, 360 minus 90. And our pull up is going to be 85 degrees, so roughly like a vertical loop. Well, I'm, do, I'm using 85 degrees because that's being unrealistic, but you can use any sort of angle as long as it's smooth. And we are aligning our pieces so that it's a smooth pull up. So you saw that little jolt in there, right? So that means we have to extend our piece. So we are extending our weights, we're moving it up and moving it forward. What we also have to make sure is that, well, I'm adjusting the weights here, but like, make sure that our pieces make an ellipse that slow, well, not slowly, but gradually, um, twist less at the top so like the twist has to be sharper at the top and at the bottom to balance the g-force and that's just exactly the same as a vertical loop that's why they have the tear the teardrop shape so this is going to be the top of the cobra roll i'm going to twist this back a little bit just to move this back and yeah it's going to be the top of the cobra roll so again we're going to move it up so that it has um a gradual twist, a, gra a gradual like ellipse shape, and these two pieces you have to um, their shape has to be uniform so that you have no jolt in the middle. So we keep going, we transition out of the cobra roll. So our yaw has to be ideally uh, like going inside the cobra roll so that because if it goes outside we're just twisting the other way around and our bank should be around 160 165 we're not twisting much 
and it's gotta be smooth, smooth, smooth as butter. So we look up from above. And remember also to bank your segments. So your segments to be banked so you get no lateral Gs. So about here. And then this is the interesting part, you're twisting out of the cobra roll. So the cobra roll uh, has a well-known whip, at least on BNMs. I'm going to reduce the, the launch speed to about 80. And over here, this is where you're going to whip. 80 is a bit low, so about 85. So ideally, your bank is going to be about 60 degrees, more or less. Well, that's an estimate, but I might change it later. So you twist out like that to balance your, your G-forces from the pullout. So you see the twist has to be uniform, as always. And then, this is very important right here. So your your first weight has to be over your last weight. So like that's, it has to be it has to do like a, a zigzag shape. And that way you can just you can directly place your next piece without a jolt because you just you're, you're going up. And you all should be perpendicular to the to the pull up. And your pitch should be zero because this is the apex, let's say of the cobra roll. And your middle banking should be, well you can adjust it manually there. As well as the pull out. So the pull out you can make it more stretched out like that. And then we're doing the exact opposite. So the way I mirror my pieces is I take down the heights and and the angles. So and also distances. So about like on, on this plane, it's about an est it's an estimate. But our yaw is gonna be one thirty six. So about So that's gonna be it. And then we do the exact same with these pieces right here. So we move back down. It's about 11 degrees and 200 degrees banking. So that's about 160, as I said before. And you're facing inwards this time. What about our height? So our height is about 28.2 meters, so... Remember to balance your weight, so your weight should be higher at the top than the bottom, so that you don't get a jolt coming into the cobra roll. So I messed up slightly here. It's going to readjust this. Like you can adjust this to your own liking, but um, yeah, it just depends on your liking. But like this is just the basic overview of how to shape up a cobra roll, and the pullout is is it's just the exact same. Um, we face inwards about ninety degrees more or less, 
and uh, you go 85 degrees. You adjust your weights, and yeah, your pot should be there sh shortly. And then yeah, we repeat the same thing. So we we keep going. About 185, that's good. And a little bit of banking on this side. And then we adjust the banking here as well. Now that we have all the pieces, we just adjust um, uh, how how much you want to twist it. Uh, circular, circular wise. So that's a bit much outward, so we twist it in, we move it in slightly, and that should be alright. The one e, so it should be facing this way instead. No, my bad. <laughs> Should be facing this way. And yeah, we're moving this in because we're facing it this way. And and that's the pull out right there, the exit. And that's our cobra roll. Now we have to test for smoothness. So here it goes. So you can tell there's a it's a little bit rough around the edge, uh, the edges. So uh, we just readjust it around here. So we are putting this slightly outward so that it's it looks more round, and we bank this a little bit more. And uh, this should be out here. And then yeah, it's adjusting this thing here as well, so it's making it round and uniform. So it's a little, it's a little bit of adjusting here. Like, it takes a little while. You can look at it from above, from above to make it smooth, like this. Turn here, we can make it round or well, rounder. I mean, and this here as well. Like, that's looking a lot better now. Wait, never mind. So, we'll move this back. It's just looking for rough spots, really. And that it's underbanked, so we gotta bake this a little bit more. But just uh, move it in, inwards, this way. There we go. I'm gonna add a little bit more speed so that it has a bit more whip at the top. So 90 class per hour should be good. That's a bit much whip, but we move. So that so like the the apex oops the apex is a little bit flat so we move it move this down and then this here is just adjusting the 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 pieces so that you get rid of that of that little spot jank in the middle.
That should be right. I'll reduce the launch speed for more realism. <laughs> and then it's just adjusting that banking right here. And that should probably fix the the jolt right there. And that's the basic idea for a Cobra. Like, after all, it's just adjusting it the way you want. But that's how that's the way I make the cobras, and like I can take like hours adjusting the jolts to get rid of them. But like if if we if we turn up the smoothness, for example, like 0.75 is what I use for my videos. Like the jolts are basically non-existent. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, and uh, subscribe for more.